Now, the next step that we're gonna do is securing your account with multi-factor authentication or MFA. So multi-factor authentication is considered a best practice. And basically what it is, if you're not familiar with it, is you provide your username and your password and you're sent a code that you have to provide and then you're allowed to log in. It's basically an additional layer of security protection. If you use sites like Facebook or other social media websites, a lot of those use multi-factor authentication. And it really helps something called your root account and protecting that. And with AWS, you have a root account. That's your overall access account, just like on a computer like Linux. And that has all the permissions. So it's very important that you protect this account. So we're gonna go ahead and go to services and then security, identity, and compliance and IAM. Now with multi-factor authentication, it's important to use because you can actually prevent people from logging into your account without a specific code that's sent to you. So we're gonna to go to users, and then we're gonna click the user that we're using, so the account that we're using, and we're gonna to go to security credentials. Then we're gonna select manage assigned MFA device. Now, most likely you're gonna use this first option, this virtual MFA device. That would be like an application that you have on your phone. And then we'll just give you a code and you can put that in when you're logging in. I'm not gonna go through this because then you could see my authentication information, but this is something that you're definitely gonna to wanna to do to protect your account. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.